Hey everyone, Chelsea Davis here, and I am so excited. Today, I'm chatting with Rob Riggle and Joe Tessitore because it is episode two of Holy Moly, the sequel. This season is super intense and it's double the fun, hence season two. Now, before we get to that, I have to sink my own putt. So right now, we're in my master bedroom and I set up my own Holy Moly obstacle. Up first, I've gotta make it through the H. Lining up the shot, here we go. Obstacle number two. Oh, come on. Really? It's not even life size. This is gonna make for one giant challenge. Anyway, I was really hoping for a heel in one. I mean, hole in one, but since that can't happen, let's just see if a fun size me can make it through this obstacle of a high step in Chelsea. Let's see. Yes! Made it! All right, this is it, a par three. I've gotta make this ball go down the stairs and then into the cup hole. Oh, not you again. All righty, let's just swing it. <laughs> Holy moly, I sunk it in. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk with Rob and Joe. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, Good how Chelsea, you? how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. I'm really excited that it's Friday Eve and we get to watch Holy Moly again tonight. Last week we saw people jump the shark, literally, and they endured fire-breathing dragons. So tee it up for us. What's in store tonight? Well, tonight you're going to see uh, some more special stuff, if you will. You're going to see some of our... We brought in some celebrity judges. One of the holes requires celebrity judging. Uh, and this particular hole uh, has our contestants doing high dives into freezing cold water. So we brought in Greg Louganis, one of the greatest divers of all time, bringing in Steve Gutenberg as well. I gotta tell you, Steve Gutenberg brought a level of passion, mm -hmm. and that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, I think Joe will agree with passion that I've never seen before. So you're gonna see that. Um, you're also gonna see um, some very sexy men without their shirts on. Um, and I'm not talking about Joe and I, Oh, so. Joe, I see you over there. You're giving that one a hard no. Hey, Rob, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your service, 23 years as a Marine. And overall, you're pretty adventurous. You're a self-proclaimed shark expert and a global investigator. And as an Arizona native, I loved your OK Corral episode. But I'm curious, do you think that you could take on all these obstacles and win the whole thing? No, no way, not, not possible. Uh, I could go out on the course and I could get knocked in the water repeatedly. It would actually make for a great comedy reel of me <laughs> wiping out and getting launched. Um, uh, but I, again, I have too much respect for my golden polyester wild world of sports <laughs> ABC jacket that I would never, never subject that jacket to the torture of being knocked in the water that many times. <laughs> Rob, I'm not going to lie. That would be so entertaining. And Joe, you could call it as he's getting knocked in the water. But I agree. Protect those jackets. They are top notch. Joe, I have a question for you. You've called a lot of high intensity sports. You've done football, boxing, horse racing, and the list goes on and on. How does this show rank compared to those? You told ESPN Front Row that this is basically full contact mini golf. You know, People laugh when I have this conversation. I've talked to Rob about it, Chelsea. You know, I've sat back for years and calling the college football, the biggest bowl games and Monday night football and heavyweight championship fights. But when you're in the moment sitting on that holy moly set and you're watching these competitors go through these extreme holes, it doesn't feel any different. I'm telling you, there's an intensity to it. There's the moment that just shocks you. There's, there's the moment where you make the big call and you love it. And we, we really get into it. Now, listen, you watch the show, you understand there's a lot of buddy comedy to this Chelsea. You'd realize that Riggle and I just, we just laugh nonstop and have a lot of fun. But of course, I'm joined by my co-host with the best pants in the biz, Rob Riggle. <laughs> well, give the old pants a break tonight, will you, Joe? Trying out a new pattern? Nope, just not wearing any. Free as a bird, huh? Shall we get to the rules? Because it's getting a little nippy out here. But at the moment of truth, when it's all on the line, when one putt has to go in to stay alive. Her putt oh. down the land bridge. Oh, that's a good looking putt. Oh, what's she gonna do? Oh, almost oh. an ace. Almost an ace, but instead oh. it goes into the water. You really get into it like it's a critical fourth down on Monday Night Football, or a college bowl game is on the line, or a heavyweight knockout is right in front of your eyes. So yeah, it's intense. 
As a former NFL cheerleader on the sideline, I totally understand what you're talking about. Rob and Joe, last week I talked with Jeannie Mai and I asked her what it's like working with you guys. And you know what she said, specifically about you two, that she's going to need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> in a great way. I assume that's what she meant, like in a great way. Of course, of course, in the best way possible. She actually laughed and went on to say how much she loves working with you guys. You have great energy, you're so genuine, and she actually loves how direct you are. But let's go ahead and switch the roles here. What's it like working with Jeannie Mai and Stephen Curry? It's a blessing. It's, it's one of the best, you know. I, that's one of the things that uh, appealed so much to me personally about this show was the opportunity to work with Joe Tess, one of the great sportscasters uh, of all time in our country uh, and, and around the world, actually. That's confidence right there. And uh, Steph Curry, I mean, he's, he's one of the great, great basketball players. He's a Hall of Famer, uh, a legend in his own time. And, of course, Jeannie Mai, who is just a total delight. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I looked around and I was like, I get to work with these folks? Count me in. Uh, and then the show was secondary. I was like, what, and what are we doing again? Miniature golf? Extreme miniature golf? Good. That'll be even more fun. So yeah, uh, I, I consider it a, a blessing to get to work with good people. Life's too short not to work with good people. And, and Chelsea, you know, I think what Rob brings up, that chemistry of the four of us together, and, and you know this, when you're working on air with a, with a group of people, to have fun, to be able to laugh, to enjoy everybody's company. The audience sees that. The audience knows that. And, and Rob and I have that relationship. Jeannie brings an incredible amount of enthusiasm and joy down there on the course. And Steph Curry is as authentic of a superstar. I mean, let's, I mean, this guy is a global superstar. And here he is putting his time and energy and efforts into doing a great family competition show on ABC and really sincerely giving himself. So we just feel like between the four of us, there's great chemistry and that bleeds through into the show. And hopefully that joyfulness comes across on Thursday nights. It really does. So much joy. We all love watching you guys. And you're also that much needed comedic relief that we all need right now. So thank you so much. I appreciate your time. All thank right, Chelsea. You. Thank you. Don't miss all the action and all of the fun. The second episode of Holy Moly Season 2 is on tonight at 8 o'clock on ABC 15 Arizona.